vegetables. I just need to eat this beef chow mein. <laughs> you know. Scared out of me that did. Oh, bye bye air conditioning. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Right, let's head out into the apocalyptic furnace that is ye old London town. Oh, now you can probably see there I've got a scarf on, and you're thinking, Billy, it's 36 degrees, why are you wearing a scarf? Well, this is a soaking wet scarf and it's a little trick I picked up in Death Valley I saw some other biker doing it he pulled over and uh, he um, soaked his scarf and rode off and it really does work it works a treat actually oh my god it's hotter than a freshly toasted pita bread stuffed between the butt cheeks of uh, let's think who would have exceptionally hot butt cheeks giant haystacks after a five round bonanza bash fest with big daddy <laughs> oh jesus how do i look yeah pretty sexy actually okay keys yeah wallet do the old colombo pat down and we're off Ugh, no bag today i'm going light oh now for those non-british viewers of my channel and you're wondering who the hell is uh giant haystacks and big daddy well if you're a child of the 80s like i am um giant haystacks and big daddy are uk wrestling icons and if you didn't know this already which i'm sure you probably do um because everyone who watches my channel is incredibly smart and attractive um, but Big Daddy's real name was Shirley Crabtree. Shirley Crabtree. Now that is a name. Oh, nearly one up on the curb then. Uh, blah, 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 speed, blah, and oil, blah, date. Oh, 36 degrees. That is toasty. Oh my god. You know what, it's not, despite the fact I've got a leather jacket on, it doesn't actually feel that bad. The wet scarf definitely helps. I thoroughly recommend that. That is Billy's tip of the week. 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 I mean, once you're moving, it's okay. It's, uh, um, you get the breeze going right up your gusset. I'm wondering if this bike, if it gets too hot, as in the engine temperature, it will flash a little warning sign. I'm sure it would do. Because as I was getting in today, it said 99 degrees on it, and I'm thinking, well, at what point, at what point do you have to stop the bike and just get off it? Oh. Oh my god. Ah. So it's actually been a while since I've done a vid. I think it's been almost, I don't know, like almost a month, I think. I've just been doing lots of stuff at home. I've been selling loads of stuff on uh, eBay. Um, and uh, work's been uh, pretty full on. Not all the time, but the odd days here and there. And I haven't got anything new for the bike as such, but I might actually get one of those, you know, those really nerdy looking um, flip up wind deflector things you put on the top of your screen. Just to give uh, an, a bit of added comfort when you're doing the motorway mileage, you know. 
Um, a lot of GS riders seem to have them, so I thought, what the hell, you can't beat them, join them. And talking of comfort, this seat, you know I mentioned before that it's quite firm on the old Botox. Well, I can tolerate about an hour tops on this bike. I don't know what it is, it's, this seat seems, it gets quite uncomfortable quite quickly. Not unbearably so, but enough for me to do the old buttock shuffle whilst I'm riding along just to get the blood back into it. I don't know what it is, maybe it's because I've got incredibly pert and firm buttocks. That could be a reason. Or um, maybe it's because I'm a massive fat loafer. Um, but it really does play havoc on my hemorrhoids. <laughs> I don't have any hemorrhoids, but if I did, this wouldn't be the seat for me. I think what it was, is on the, on the Explorer I had a... Um, What's it called? A comfort seat, which I think has got gel in it or something like that. So that seat I could do all day. So I might treat myself to a BMW's version of that, like a comfort seat, a gel seat, whatever they call it. I don't know what it is, I must be getting old. But other than that, I am slowly getting, becoming besotted with this bike. I just love it so much. It feels like an old friend already. Do you know that sort of thing? It's the kind of friend that if you broke both your arms, it would wipe your bum for you. That's, um, that's the kind of friend. That's the kind of friend that you need, really. Oh my God, could you please go any slower? Flip it out. <laughs> oh, so I've just been doing that, just a lot of home stuff. It's actually incredibly dull. But I do miss chatting to you guys, so I thought, you know, I'll um, I'll slap the old camera on the helmet, say hello. Hello! Oh, hello! Hello, Shirley Crabtree here. Actually, I did actually go camping. I think it was last weekend. Yes, the weekend before last. Me and my mate, Kent Dave. It was really nice, actually. <laughs> yeah. Although, there was this bloody, oh my god, there was this family of kids there, right? And the kids must have been, I don't know, 12, 13, thereabouts. And they were the most middle class kids I think I've ever heard. It's like, Tarquin, Tarquin, come on. Hey, we're, hey, you can't cut in like that. Do you, do you know who I am? Oh, okay, I'll just go in front of you then. Yeah, it's really middle class quick kids. Tarquin, Oliver, Oliver, where's mummy? Oh, honestly, that is, and I was up to about, uh, oh, it must have been about midnight, half 12. And I was playing this game, and I was running up and down, flashing their lights on their bloody phones that their mummy and daddy bought them. And in the end, I got so pissed off with it, <laughs> I got out the tent. I just said, could you shut the f up? I shouldn't have sworn really, but I was really getting on my nerves. Really getting on my nerves. Tarquin! But other than that, it was a good night. It was a bloody good night. Well, a good day. It was actually a shit night because I could hardly sleep. Tarquin, oh Tarquin. Actually, it doesn't feel that bad up here at the moment. It's going down to 34 now. Positively Arctic. But tomorrow is supposed to be 
the big one 38 degrees now I remember going through Death Valley and it said on the uh, clocks there on the old Explorer 42 but it's a different kind of heat it's not it's not muggy like it is here it's just incredibly dry heat and oddly enough you don't really sweat a lot it's quite weird Ooh. yeah we get it Billy you've been to Death Valley we'll pee for you maximize wind flaps wind flaps maximized so every conceivable vent that I've got on this jacket is open to the max lowering screen for maximum vintage on the torso area oh ball bags didn't do my bloody helmet strap up rookie error rookie error I can't have that so I'm so excited to talk to you guys that my own personal safety just goes out the window that's how much I love you but I'm not actually working tomorrow so I will I won't be riding in it which I'm quite grateful of to be honest mm. Mm. uh oh police what is the what is this guy doing up here nice Porsche very nice Porsche all right I've got to pull over do up me helmet strap thing can I even stop here red route no stopping old oh, ball bags well that was a waste of time out of the windy windy moors I'm gonna have to stop here. I cannot be riding with a strapless helmet. I need to put my strap on. Okay, into neutral, turn off ignition, take off gloves, have a look around. Very nice, yes. Oh. There go the police. Okay, and uh, start the engine, uh, clutch in first gear, and away we go. Yeah. World of hat, everybody! If someone sprayed fatso on their shutters, surely it would be better if they sprayed hatso. <laughs> yeah. Oh Jesus Out in the windy windy moors we <laughs> Look at this guy look look at this guy Oh my god Unbelievable Oh the flaps are up double flappage Double flappage, double flappage. 20 mile hour camera here. This one always catches people out. But not old Billy boy. Old Billy, no points. What's going on there? Oh, where is this penis going? Everybody, come and ride with me. Doing a bit of filtering. All right, so your indicator's on to turn left, but you're not going to turn left. Ah, the old indicator trick, eh? Oh, this bike handles like a dream. Sort of big sort of lardy dream but it still handles quackazaki wind flap down ah oh, that feels good I'll tell you what give me this over air conditioning any day of the week 
I'm going to put my cruise control on. Initiate cruise control. Look, ready? Ah, ah, ah. The, the, the switch gear for the cruise control on this bike is superb. Very, very easy to operate, very sort of intuitive. Uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. I love cruise control on bikes. Yeah, so like I said, I might get one of those little clip-on uh, wind deflectors for the windscreen here, just to give it a little test. See how much of a difference it makes. Just to... Um, I mean, to be fair, when the screen is up at its highest point, it's so it's so quiet behind there. There's not really much need for it. But I don't know. I just like buying things for the bike. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just money burns a hole in my pocket. Thinking, hmm, what can I buy for my motorcycle? What is going on here? What are you doing? Why are you turning right? He's changing his CDs in his car. <laughs> that is quality. MP3s, mate, yeah? I tell you, I know I've said this before, but the stuff you see drivers doing in their cars whilst they're riding at this sort of speed, like, um, did I tell you about the woman? She was. This, as long as it's actual road and she was sort of dabbing her brakes when there was no need to she was sort of drifting from lane to lane and I thought I've got to get in front of this woman she's she's liability <coughs> and as I was going past I looked in and she was eating food off her passenger seat like she was eating a takeaway I was thinking unbelievable the stuff that you see on a bike because obviously you have to be more aware you have to be uh, a little bit more aware of your surroundings and you just see some crazy shit yeah so she was basically looking over at her dinner while she was eating it having a few mouthfuls looking back up at the road I mean that must have been one hell of a meal can you imagine how nice that meal was? Or how hungry she was. To put her own life on the line. <laughs> Amazing. She's like, you know what? I don't care about my life. I don't care about other people's. I just need to eat this beef chow mein. <laughs> Fuck you, no! Scared the shit out of me, that did. He must have been doing a hundred. Oh my god. That made me jump. What a bell end. The only problem with the double flappage is, especially in weather like this, is I have an excellent suntan on my wrists. But the rest of me looks like some sort of pasty grey mush that hasn't seen the light of day in 47 years. You know, as long as my wrists look good, that's the main thing. Just realised there's a massive piece of bird excrement on my... Look, I'll zoom in. Poo cam! Poo cam! Ugh. Why do birds think they can just defecate on your stuff? No manners. They're so rude. Birds have to be one of the only creatures in the animal kingdom that are capable of shitting on you. Oh, that's because no other animals can fly, Billy. Uh, fair enough. Please don't pull out on me in your twatty wagon. 
wagon for twats. Uh, I noticed petrol's gone down by a few pence in this petrol station at least. Um, it was wow, what was it? 191. It's gone down to 188 now or something, which isn't a great deal, but it's a step in the right direction. Look, our clothes are made out of bricks. Wow. Mm. Might be changing the pad soon on this bike. I have to uh, check them, but they still feel good. I like to do a periodic check on the safety equipment on the motorcycle. Someone actually uh, sent me a message the other day, I can't remember what on, and because I haven't done a video for nearly a month, they said, uh, are you dead? And the thing is, I haven't actually replied yet. So uh, for all intents and purposes, in their mind at least, uh, I am dead. I don't know what off, perhaps excessive sun exposure to the wrists could be the cause of death, I don't know. Not enough kebabs, perhaps. I was actually sitting in the front room last night, window open, obviously because it's 8,000 degrees at night, and, um, oh my god, this fucking, I don't know what the hell it was, some prehistoric insect flew through the window, almost like kamikaze into the blinds the noise this thing makes what the fuck it sounded like it was made out of wood it's like the, the noise it made I thought someone threw a rattlesnake through the window it's like, fucking thing I've never seen I don't know what it was some kind of beetle bee hybrid hell bug it's like what the f so you, I tell you what you've never seen a man move so quick <laughs> he got out of that room ASAP fucking thing I got rid of it though you know because I'm so manly oh my god it's horrendous that's the thing about this heat it brings out all the weird spiky nasty bugs I wonder if this, if this global warming carries on, if we're going to sort of turn into Australia when it comes to bugs. They have got some monsters over there. Like, you know, they'll bite your ass if you're on a car seat, and that's it, you're dead. you just got to accept your fate. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it, thank you very much, I'll, uh, I'll see you all soon, yeah, just a quick one. I love you, bye, 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 bye. Skid. No, no skid. <sighs> oh my god. My buttocks are stuck together. <sighs> I have incredibly sweaty buttocks right now. Hopefully you're not eating your dinner whilst you hear that. Look at the temperature in here, look, 34.3. Yeah, we get it, Billy, it's hot, it's summer, that's what happens. Shut up. Oh, I love you guys. I'll see you soon, yeah? Hopefully it won't be a month gap between the next one. Oh, look, I've got to in um, initiate sun shields uh, on the window area. Space age technology. Ooh.